Hey everybody, it's Ginger on Wheels here. Thanks for stopping by the channel where you know that I own a lot of electric scooters and unicycles. And that means that I own just as many chargers. But what if I told you that I found one charger that can rule them all? That's right, I'm gonna roll the intro and tell you about this charger I found that can replace all these chargers in the background. Okay, so here they are. These are all the chargers that I've amassed over my years of collecting electric scooters and unicycles. First, we have to determine what differentiates these chargers from each other. And there are three major things. First of all, the type of connector that they have. Scooters generally have GX163 connectors, which means there's these three prongs and they look like that. They have a little uh, threaded piece on here. You plug it into the port on the scooter and you're good to go. Unicycles, on the other hand, are gonna have a GX16-5 connection, which looks like this. It's basically the same type of connector, but it just has five pins instead of three. The second thing that differentiates the chargers is the voltage, the nominal voltage that these chargers will push to the battery when you plug it in. You can see on most chargers, it'll just tell you. This is a 100 volt charger, which means it can charge 100 volt unicycles. I'll tell you on this charger right here, output 58.8 volts, two amps. It'll tell you on this charger on the front right here, at voltage 84.2. So these are all different voltage chargers and that's because all these different batteries run at different nominal voltages. Like the Dualtron Storm is a 72 volt scooter. This is a 52 volt scooter. I think that's a 48 volt scooter with the max pack on it. We got a 60 volt scooter. You get the idea, they're all different volts. So you have to make sure that the charger that you plug into the battery is pushing the right voltage to charge the battery. If you don't push the right amount of voltage, you can mess up the battery really bad. If you push over the nominal voltage, you can start a fire. If you push under the nominal voltage, you're just not gonna charge the battery and you can imbalance the cells inside the battery. It's not good. So, gotta make sure you got the right voltage. The third differentiating factor between all these chargers is the amps. The amount of amps that the chargers can actually push and the amps is like the amount of actual juice going into the battery. The voltage is just like the power level, and then the amps is how much juice is going in at that power level. So you can see on this charger right here, this is 3A, that means it's three amps. Or this charger right here is 58.8 volts at two amps. This charger right here is actually adjustable amperage. We can choose one through five amps with this little dial on the side here. So this is kind of a cool charger. But basically, the higher the amps, the faster you're charging your battery. But the hotter it gets, the more power you use, and the, the worse it is for the cells. If you charge the cells too quickly, you can actually damage them. So you don't want to charge them too fast, but you want to charge them so fast that you don't have to wait around all day for it to charge, right? I found out recently that the Dualtron Storm, according to Mini Motors, can actually charge at 16 amps. So we can push 8 amps through each of these charge ports here. So bottom line is, I got tired of digging through my box of chargers every time I wanted to charge something to find the right charger. I just wanted one charger that I could grab and charge any one of these things quickly, and that's exactly what I got. This baby right here. Okay, so for starters, the input power on this charger is 100 to 240 volts AC, which means you can plug it in in the US or in the UK, or you can plug it into electric tra car charging outlets like outside, and you're not gonna damage this charger. The other cool thing about this charger is that you can adjust the output voltage. Like I was talking about all these different chargers with different voltages. You can actually change the voltage of this charger by using this little mini screwdriver. There's a tiny little threaded piece on the side and you turn the dial up and down and it changes the output voltage of this charger. Also, the output current on this charger, which you adjust with this knob over here, goes from one to 20 amps. And 20 amps is really high, so in theory, this thing can pull 3,000 watts out of the outlet, and in most household outlets, that's actually gonna blow the circuit breaker. So bottom line is, you can charge any one of your devices as fast as the BMS or the cells in the device will allow with this charger. Because, like I was talking about, scooters have GX16.3 and unicycles have GX16.5, with this charger, you can actually switch it. This is just an XT plug on the side, and you can choose. I've got one cable with an XT connector, and then it's got GX16.5s right there, so you can charge my unicycles. But if I need to charge a scooter, I can just grab this XT connection cable and plug in my GX16.3s, and I can dual charge scooters. You see it splits into two. That's because most chargers, most uh, high-end scooters and unicycles have two charge ports like that. See on the side of these, there's two charge ports. So I can actually plug both these charge ports in, plug the XT connector into the side of the charger, 
choose my voltage, my output voltage, choose my output amps, and then this thing goes ripping and sounds like a jet engine and will charge any one of these batteries. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We can test it out on the, uh, what should we charge? Charge the uh, Gotway RS over there in the corner of the unicycle. Okay, so here is the charger here. And I wanna start with a disclaimer. You really shouldn't buy this charger or do anything that I'm doing unless you know a lot about lithium batteries and how they work and how they charge. This is just sort of a fun video for me showing you, for example, this thing does exist. But I am gonna show you how it works really quick. First thing we wanna do when we're plugging in this charger is find the connections that we wanna use. This is my GX165, which I wanna plug in because I'm charging a unicycle. So I go back here to the XT port on the back of the charger and just plug it right in there. Fits in nice and snug. And then what I wanna do is take the plug and actually plug it into the wall. And it takes a while to boot up. See, it doesn't actually turn on, but don't, don't fear. It's just filling up full of juice. And it turns on like a jet engine, just wait for it. Boot sequence initiated. All right, there it goes. So you can see right here, it says 99. I hope you can anyway. That's what it says, 99.0. You can use the screwdriver on the back and I'll dink with it a little bit just to show you. Right in here, if I stick my screwdriver in right by where the power comes out, scary, right? There's a thing I can twist and it actually changes the nominal voltage. So this is the voltage, the output voltage that the charger is gonna be putting into my battery. You can see I'm changing it with the screwdriver right now. It says 97.9 or I can turn it up. All right, 98.5. So absolutely maximum tippy top charge for this lithium battery. And this pack is 100.8 volts. So I'm just gonna leave it at 99 and we're gonna charge it up to 99 volts because that's dang near full and I don't wanna mess around with anything near full charge with a powerful charger like this. It's letting me know that the output voltage is 99.1. So I'm gonna turn my dial all the way down. That's the amperage dial. And then open the unicycle over here and plug my chargers in. Make sure both chargers are firmly secured into the unicycle. Just like so. And then I can turn this dial on the back slowly and it'll actually increase the amps. So right now I'm charging at 3.11 amps and you can see the voltage of the battery pack is 94 volts. So maybe about 75% or so. But in theory with this RS, this has Molasel P42A cells in it and you can charge them really quickly. In theory, with two charge ports like this, I should be able to charge this unicycle at 16 amps. So I'm gonna kind of test my charger out here and see if I can get it above 10. There we are at 6.2, eight, Oh, charger just kicked it up a notch. 9.93, 10.4 amps. If I go above 13 amps, this wall will actually blow. The breaker in there isn't that powerful. 11, 12. Yeah, you can charge really fast. In theory, I'm gonna turn it down here because it's kind of scaring me. In theory, you can charge up to 20 amps with this thing. So if you wanted to, you could plug one GX165 into one unicycle and one into the other unicycle. And as long as they both had really, really low charge in the battery pack, you could probably charge this thing at like 15 amps. No problem, charge the two of them. Pretty cool stuff though. So this is my new uh, tag along charger for all my rides. I'm gonna bring this on my group rides in my backpack. It doesn't weigh that much. I will weigh it though, just for science, because I'm curious too. But yeah, you can charge two things at once. In worst case, you probably shouldn't. For the record, this is the charger without this little auxiliary cable, which barely weighs anything. And the charger weighs three pounds and 14.8 ounces. Okay, so now I feel like using the charger to charge my Dualtron Storm. So I took the little screwdriver and I adjusted the dial in the back. Now the uh, output voltage reads 82.5 because maximum voltage charge for this battery is about 83 volts or 84 volts. So we're gonna go with 82.5, that's dang near full. And we're gonna plug it into the scoop. You wanna make sure that both chargers are securely connected. You can see this thing reads 71.2 volts is the voltage of this battery. And my charger is pushing in 71.9 volts at zero amps. Now, there we go. Now we're charging at six amps. 
That boosts the uh, voltage of the battery up a little bit. We're at 72 volts now. 72.9 going in. And the scooter's reading 72. Let's go ahead and bump this up to like 10 amps. Boom. In theory, I can charge this Dualtron Storm really fast, like 16 amps. Here it is at 12.2. So at this charge rate right here, the scooter will be about fully charged in like three hours, which is crazy considering with the stock charger, just one of them, it takes 20 hours to charge this thing. It is worth mentioning though, while we're here talking about this thing, that there is another device called the Chargery and it weighs about the same, costs about $50 more, but it has a 1500 watt output and this is 3000 watts of output power. Crazy but I'm never gonna need that much power unless I'm plugged into like a car charger and then I'm trying to charge two scooters at once. Then maybe I would push close to 20 amps, but still. All right, you guys, that sums up my video on this cool little charger over here. I hope you found it neat, maybe useful. I will link it in the description below, but like I said, do not buy it or even think about using one unless you really know your way around a lithium battery and how lithium batteries charge and work. But really cool device over here. Hopefully I can just throw these things in a box, put them in storage and forget about them. Thanks for watching another Ginger on Wheels video. I'll catch you guys for the next one.